Hi, I'm David Blattner from InDesign Secrets, and in an earlier movie, I showed my favorite way to make underlines for form fields like these up here. If you haven't watched that movie, there's a link in the notes below that you can use. But down here, I have a very different kind of underline. This is an underline that is in the middle of text. Now, you could use tabs to create these, but it would be really a hassle, so I don't recommend that. Or another way people often do this is to type a bunch of underscores. Like I'll grab my type tool, I'll come over here, and I'll just type a bunch of underscores in a row. You know, like a shift hyphen on a US keyboard. That's what you do if you have an old style typewriter, right? And sometimes it works okay, but most of the time it doesn't. Either the line breaks in a weird way, or sometimes you get little spaces between the underscores and it looks really stupid. So I'm going to delete all of those, and instead I'm going to do this a different way. Because I use InDesign and not a typewriter, I'm going to insert a real line. Like I'm going to come over here to the tool panel and choose my line tool. Now I'm going to come over here and drag out a line where there's no other objects. I'm holding down the shift key to make sure it's constrained to be just horizontal. Right now, it has no stroke, so it's invisible. Let's come up here to the control panel and set this to, say, a half point black stroke. Now, because I'm going to be using this a bunch of times in this document, I want to give it an object style. You don't have to use object styles, but it will save you a lot of time. So over here in my dock, I'll open the object styles panel. And if you don't see it in your dock, you can find this inside the window menu by going down to the style submenu. Now, inside the panel menu, I'll choose New Object Style, and I'll give it a name, like Form Line. And I'll tell it to apply the style to the selection. I'll click OK, and now this line has the object style called Form Line applied to it. Now, to anchor this line inside the text frame, I simply cut it to the clipboard by pressing Command or Control X. Then I'll grab my Type Tool again, over here in the Tool Panel, place my cursor where I want it, and then paste with a command or control V. There's my line. And the great thing is I can paste this as many times as I want. Like I'll replace this line with a real line. I'll come over here and replace this one, and I'll do this one too. Of course, these are still just lines. So I could always go over here and grab my selection tool, select this line, and then change the width. Of course, these won't break across two or more lines because inline objects like this act just like a single character. And the cool thing about that is that they'll flow with a text. Like if I place my cursor up here and start typing, you can see that the line flows with the text. Also, if it's critical that a line always stick with some text, like down here I want this line to stay inside the parenthetical with that dollar sign. All you have to do is select the text you want to stay together, and then apply the no break style. Here, I can get that inside the character panel, which I can get by pressing Command or Control T, and then choosing it out of the little panel menu. No break. Now, all of that text along with a line will stay together. Of course, because we applied the object style to these lines, it's easy to update them. Like, I'll choose my selection tool, come back to my object styles panel, Right click on the object style and choose Edit. From inside the Object Style Options dialog box, I can change the style of that stroke. I'll choose the stroke pane here, and let's go ahead and change it to, say, cyan, and let's make it dotted, maybe make it a little bit thicker so we can see it better. When I click OK, you can see that it has updated throughout my document. That is sweet. Well, that's it for this episode of InDesign Secrets. Be sure to check out InDesignSecrets.com for thousands of InDesign articles and tutorials, and sign up to receive our free newsletter, the InDesign Tip of the Week. Thank you for learning with us.